Hello and welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look on this button right here. So what this button actually does is kind of create a link to an external website or an external file location on your disk. I'll just click on this button. And as you can see, this is a Google Sheet file and you can have all of your tasks related to the project stated right here. Now, but let's say you have another project. So this is called project. 01 let's see i have a project called 02 and if i click here as you can see it opens a different link and it's actually a link on my pc so let's see how you can do something like this in visual studio so without further ado let's get it going <music> Okay, what's left is actually just changing the GUID number right here. Okay, now that we have changed the GUID numbers, we can actually get into coding. So I'm going to go to the command. I'm going to be deleting this. Okay, looks great. Now it's really simple. You just type in. System diagnostic process dot start. Here you just type in your actual link. So let's go. Okay, let's have it open up to GUID generator. Okay, looks amazing. Now, but what we have actually created here is a button or a command that will always open this link. But we want to be flexible. So let's say when I'm in project called 01 I wanted to open a specific link when I'm in project 02 I wanted to open a different link so let's program that first I'm gonna be typing try and catch and we will be doing this with an if statement so we will gonna be having an if statement if the project name equals this then open this link. If the project equals that, then open that link. So first I'm going to set a string. So this is the string that I have created. Document name equals doc.title. So in the try and catch method. So if. So this is a two if statements. Okay, we don't need this anymore because we have everything written right here in the if the catch method. So uh, if the document name equals 01, so I wanted to open this link. Now let's say I wanted to open a different link and let's say it's not a web page, it's not a web link, but it's actually more of a, a location on your disk drive. So in that case, you just go to your file explorer and copy this right here and just paste it now for some weird reason you need to actually type in two slashes yep just like this okay semicolon oops okay looks amazing now in the catch we'll just type in okay so in the catch method we just type in test dialog show error something went wrong please contact Oops, your pin manager. Okay, I see it's ready to go. Let's just close and run it. Hitting the start button. Okay, I have reopened these two files. So I have 01 here and 02 here. You can't see it because of Visual Studio actually blocks it. But yeah, let's see if I can move this. Yep, 02, 01. Now let's see if it actually works. Add in external tool. So we called it the external link. As you can see, it opened up the GUID generator. Now let's see in the different project. So with the title 02, we go to add-ins, external link, and VA external link. This should open 
uh, the Yandex folder on my D drive. So let's say, oh, let me close it first. Let me close everything. That, uh, as you can see, it works. As you can see, it works. I really hope you enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions or suggestions to make in the next videos, please drop them below in the comment section or email me. Uh, if you like this video, you can hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.